It was from this laboratory that the tests and news came. A clinical trial in Thailand claimed to reduce HIV infection by 30%. It was the first time ever that a vaccine showed any sign of fighting the virus. But even the trial's researchers don't know how or why the cocktail might have worked. 8,000 of the Thai volunteers that took part were given two vaccines. The first, called Alvac, is a live pox virus which has synthetic HIV genes in it. And the second, AIDSVAX, consists of the outer coat of HIV, which aims to boost the immune system. They had both been tested separately before, but yielded no positive results. For some HIV specialists... Separately, they proved useless. So I really question that. Two times zero is still zero. For Professor Willy Rosenbaum, these trial results, for now at least, are meaningless. If a vaccine protects against the illness, then it should, in those that all the same are contaminated, it should weaken the strength of the virus. That means that it would have stimulated our defense systems to make the virus less violent on us. On that criteria, this trial has not shown any positive results. Those who received the vaccine and were contaminated got just as strong a dose of the virus as those who were on the dummy jabs. Past vaccine trials have presented similar results, some even strengthening the potency of the virus. Finding a cure for HIV has got scientists battling for decades already. It is considered too dangerous to use the whole virus in a vaccine in order to trigger the immune system. And what's more, HIV mutates incredibly fast.